I'm clicking rocks, baby. Give me gold! With an ambitious new goal, Team Turin attacks the lost mine at Fox Creek without their leader. That is a neat rock. As Dave's second in command, it's on Jason to keep them on the gold. That's a lot on Jason's shoulders, you know. I take care of the mobile side, my running. He's got to find the ground and bring to me so we can make it happen. To hit Dave's 50 ounce target, the team must top last week's cleanup. One of the best they've ever had. Oh, you feel that? Did you hear that? Can you see that? That's that pay, baby. This is a big test for me personally. With Dave gone, it's pretty big shoes to fill. It's his operation, it's his mind sight. But if we can get to 50 ounces this week, it'll prove to Dave that when he's gone, we can handle business. In their first week running in Box Creek, Team Turin lost access to the gold-rich hummocks. All that virgin ground, that's gone. It's taken away. God, son of a Leaving only the bank cut to mine. I'm not walking out of here with no gold, boys. That's what you need to pray about. But the team dug in, shifting 60 feet of overburden. Son of a This is the deepest pit I've ever worked. And discovered a gold-rich main channel too deep for the old timer's dredge to mine. That is main channel, buddy. Oh, my god. It has to be, Dave. 38 point. Yeah! yeah. That's the best cleanup we've had in a week. That's amazing. Now, to hit Dave's gold target and keep their season alive, Jason has to stay on the main channel's trail. Do you think this is actually the main at I, one time? What do you think? I think the original main, right back here was that clay wall. I think the original main channel was coming down, pushing through, and it hit that clay wall, and it, the majority of it probably went this way. I hope you're right, brother. Millions of years ago, gold washes down from the mountains surrounding Box Creek and settles at the bottom of ancient riverbeds. Jason is chasing a main channel rich in gold down the creek, but he has hit a clay wall where the channel bends, diving even deeper down into the bank cut. Scrumptious. I don't know how much channel's down there. I'm just trying to read the dirt, and the story she's painting could be quite glorious. You know, something that'll give us our best cleanup yet. And I sure hell hope I'm right, but you never know till you dig it. To reach the pay dirt, the team must dig at least 20 feet deeper into the cut, taking them to 80 feet below surface level but it means moving over 600 tons of earth with the team already a man short. We've got a lot of pressure right now. Everyone's having to step up. They've allowed me to become a better miner in life and probably a better dad and better husband. He's done a lot for me. So I want Dave to be proud of what the f we're doing. The Roach, Chris is a week into his new job, feeding a plant with the 220 excavator. God almighty. You know, it's totally different machinery this year, but they give me the responsibility and have the trust and faith in me to, to feed the whole operation. I don't take that lightly. We gotta get our 50 ounces out of the bank cut. That's the load of dirt. A lot of pressure's on Chris right now. To keep up with the roach, Chris must load almost 60 buckets of dirt into the plant every hour. It's, it, it's nearly impossible to keep up with this. It's so many different levers. You got two different joysticks, and they do four different functions. Hey, Chris, what's going on, man? I'm doing as much as I can, Dave. You know, the thing is, it's, we just can't keep up. Damn it. 
as you start seeing all these air bubbles, that's all it's saying there's not enough material in it right now. Chris let it kind of run low on material. Call it whitewashing. To keep the roach fed, Chris must drop dirt through the grizzlies where it travels through a series of vibrating screens before being sprayed with water to clean the pay dirt off rocks. This fine dirt then washes down the sluice box where gold is captured by the riffles. But without enough pay dirt running through the plant, the water starts to whitewash. It fills with air bubbles and flushes the gold away. You know, every little piece of gold adds up. Little small particles will go out. We can't have that. Gotta do something different. I feel like I'm weak link right now. You know, everybody's dependent on me to get the material into the plant and get it in there on time. I don't like letting people down. At the bank cut, Jason is chasing the gold-bearing main channel along the edge of the clay wall. Not as far as I hoped. Hey, Casey, you got a copy? Our pay has went from about eight foot thick down to about two and a half, three foot tops. Good times. I'll maybe have enough for a couple of days worth of pay. Roger that. I got pay up here right already exposed at the surface. I've already dropped two feet deeper on, over here to the right and I'm still not on pay. The bank cut's going away. That is so wild, what a drop. The gold channel was formed by an ancient river. The low number of rocks Jason is finding means he is on the outer edge of the river's bend. Here, the stronger flow of water reduced the chance of gold settling, washing it further downstream. <sighs> It makes the pay zone shallower than Jason expected. Oh, really tapered off. I don't know if we're going to hit those 50 ounces. We need more ground, brother. Oh, that's an understatement. We need more ground. 